Hi everyone, this is Katie Carney from Katie Carney Stitching. It is the 18th of July. It's a Sunday evening, uh, so my lighting is not the best. Uh, I am breaking one of my own rules, which is I am re-recording. I was about 15 minutes in and my video just felt very discombobulated and I did not want to embarrass myself more than I normally do on the internet. <laughs> uh, it's been three weeks since I recorded. I, it's been a crazy couple weeks. The last time we chatted, I was on my way to a baby shower, which was lovely. Uh, and then I was leaving that week on vacation with Fra, and we had a great time. Uh, we went to Connecticut. On the way down, we stopped and visited my cousin, who just, his wife just had a baby, so they have two children now. And we met Fra's newest great-grandchild, which was very exciting. Uh, he is adorable and I love him. Um, I love babies. Oh, they're so cute. I love kids too, but babies are, there's something special about that, that newness. Um, and then we continued on to Mystic, Connecticut, uh, and we stayed in Mystic for a couple days. We did Mystic Village, uh, which is a maritime village. They currently have a display of a panorama um, that they're borrowing from New Bedford Whaling Museum. Uh, it's a like village museum. It's in Massachusetts. The panorama is something like 12,000, 1,200 feet long. And it, would tr it traveled around the country uh, and showed whaling so that it was like before movies, you could watch panoramas, they were hand painted, and there would be music and you would pay a fee and it's like kind of like going to our modern movie theaters. So we saw that and then I wheeled Fra, she used a wheelchair for the first time. Um, we brought it, I we used a wheelchair at the museums in London, but we brought this one from home. Uh, it's the first time she's ever used one uh, here. So I wheeled her out to the village and I parked her under a tree and I visited an old whaling ves vessel, which was cool. There were a lot of ships in port to go on and visit. It was very, very hot. And Fra sunburned, and she got a <laughs> sun blister on her nose. <laughs> I get to feel guilty about that till I die. Um, but it was really fun. I ended up going out. They had like half hour excursions where you could go out in, it's actually a retired Navy boat. Um, and you could tour and see some of the boats in the harbor. It was only $5. It was great. Highly recommend if you're ever there. Um, and you got a nice breeze because it had been so hot. <laughs> and then um, we went back to the hotel. I met a dear friend and her uh, significant other for dinner. And then on Friday, we, were so, we had plans. We were going to go to a museum and to the beach, but Fra had had so much trouble walking the day before that we decided to go to a casino, uh, which was also fun, and we had a nice lunch. And then I visited. I left her in the car. She wanted to stay in the car. She had a nap. <laughs> uh, I visited. It was called Old Mystique Village, a little different than Mystic Village. Um, it was like a Hallmark movie. It, it was these quaint little like clapboard sided shops, um, you know, a chocolatier, a honey shop, olive oil. There was a Harry Potter store, clothes. It was just really charming. They did lack both a yarn shop and a cross stitch shop, but there are openings. So, you know, if anybody wants to move in, let me know. Uh, but I, it was probably my favorite part of the trip. It was just so quaint and so sweet and, you know, it was so nice to see people out and shopping. Um, so that was, it was a lot of fun. And then Saturday I went into Mystic Village um, where Mystic Pizza was filmed. I walked past the pizza shop and I went to a bakery my cousin recommended. And then, so when I travel, I am like, when it's time to go home, I'm ready. Fra is not a morning person, particularly as she's gotten older. So I was up at six o'clock, I've had breakfast, I'm showered, I'm packed, I'm loading the car, and grandmother is not ready. <laughs> so I went to the village while she kind of puttered around, and then around 10, we left the hotel. 
stopped at a beach so that we could see the beach and then we went home. Uh, so it was a lovely trip, very tiring for her and for me. It was high, it's high stress traveling with her now um, as she's gotten older and a little more feeble. Um, feeble of body, not feeble of mind. So, uh, but it was a great trip. And then the next weekend, we <laughs> had another small family reunion. Uh, there was about 20. My uncle planned a baseball evening for family. Uh, and we had people fly in from Florida, and it was just simply wonderful. Uh, we toured a local historic site. Everybody came to our house for continental breakfast on Sunday, which lasted eight hours. It was the longest breakfast I've ever attended. Um, <laughs> my people like to talk. I did not get that from the wind, uh, but it was wonderful. So um, that was great, and then I have not gotten a ton of stitching done, but enough that I do want to show you, and I like catching up with you all, so I wanted to do that, and I wanted to close out my giveaway. So let's, six minutes in, get to some stitching. How's that sound? So first off, after you guys saw me, I was giving myself a new start, and I did start. This is Frogwarts Year One Band Sampler. So this is from last year's Frogwarts box, um, and I got that started. I am using thirty-six count parchment from Fiber on a Whim. I think I'm pretty sure that's what it is. There's a label on here somewhere, but I put it on my Dubco frame, um, which I actually really like. And you can see there's a lot of fabric on there. And then here is my start. So I did the letters and then I just did one jelly bean because I wanted to try it. And then the way the pattern is, the jelly beans are really like how you, how I think you're going to have to count. Because there's, they're kind of placed all over. So I figured I couldn't start Hedwig until I did the jelly bean. So the jelly bean color is called for Weeks Dye Works Bethlehem, which I do not have. Um, I am using the DMC conversion uh, for a variety of reasons. If I happen to have the Fancy Floss, I am pulling it, but because the project is seven years long and this one alone had 20 colors and the next one has, I think, many more than that, I felt that using the um, DMC would be much more economical. And so that's what I did. So here are the colors. And then last year in the um, Birdie Bots um, Classic Color Works colors, we got one called Tutti Fruity, which is, it's like a purple, pink, blue, Tutti Fruity. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for my... Um, for my jelly beans. So you can see there, that's the first one. So that's that. And then I worked on that, like I said, for one night. And then as you know, I am doing a single page of Consider the Lilies every month. So the last few months, instead of doing it at the beginning of the month, I've been doing it at the tail end of the month and last month was no exception. I am using 36 count R and R Wren. I think it's Wren for this. I have made it all the way across. So I'm six months in and I'm gonna have enough fabric, I think. And I made it all the way across. So this time was this section here. Uh, which I think is so pretty. So that's the last page. It was only really half a page. I think it took me maybe maybe two nights. I finished it before I went on my trip. And I think I've decided that I'm going to come down and start and work my way back across so that if there's any mistakes, I can find them and fix them. I have to sneeze. Hang on, please. Sorry, apparently I'm allergic to the fabric or the dust that the fabric is putting off. <laughs> So yeah, there she is. I think it's beautiful. I just, I love this so much. 
I finished it on the 29th, which is when I left. And then um, I am using the called for fancy floss for this, except for the store where I purchased the kitted up version of. If they didn't have it, she did sub it in for me, but so far it's all looked wonderful, so I have no complaints. So that's Consider the Lilies. Finished that right before my trip. And then while on my trip, I decided to do um, Christmas in July because Made by, Michelle, Made by Michelle McGraw is, so I'm gonna copy her. So I pulled out my uh, Prairie Schooler Santas. So this is 84, 85, 86, and 87. I have the first three done and I decided to start the next one. Um, I didn't get a ton of stitching done on vacation, but I never do. So I got about as much as I, I got more than I often do. Uh, and then I haven't really picked it back up since I've been home. So I got the border done and the staff for Santa. And I'm just, just starting on his boots. And I think I'll probably pull this out tonight. I love how fast these are and stress-free. So he is going to be the fourth. Uh, I'm using 18 count, I think it's, is it Fiddler's Craw Cloth from um, Hobby Lobby, I got this. So I'm doing them all in the same fabric. I'm using the called for DMC. Uh, and I have not yet decided how I am finishing them. That's a future Katie problem. So that's my Prairie Schooler Santa. So then I got back from vacation on July. We traveled on the 3rd of July. I wanted to make sure we traveled before the 4th. And Christmas in July. So I picked up Christmas Spirit by Lavender and Lace. And I finished, I didn't finish it. <laughs> I finished the first um, the first half of the wreath. So there's it's I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Obviously there's a good bajillion mistakes. Don't point them out. Um, I was hoping to finish to start and finish the other half of the wreath this month, but I just don't see that happening. I am using 32 count natural linen and the called for DMC and I think I am using the called for Krynek, but I'm not there yet. So that is that. I love this piece. Uh, I can't wait for it to be done. There's something really special about all those reds and that awful green confetti. Love it. Uh, so when I finished that part of the wreath, I said, you know what? You make 20 ornaments a year for your grandmother, and if you don't start them soon, they're not going to be done. <laughs> so this year for her ornaments, I am doing JBW Designs Christmas Ornaments. I got this in my advent box from the Black Needle Society last year, and there just happens to be 20 of them, which works out. Um, and there they all are on a tree. So I had already started, I had done one. So I will show you the one I had done again. So here was the first completed one. I just pulled a red and a green to keep in the bag. It turns out that there's more than one color green and more than one color red that you need for some of the patterns. So luckily I had Santa's magic out and I was just pilfering from that. So then I did these three which were really fast and I lulled myself into a false sense of security so here's the next one took about an hour here's the next one took about an hour here's the next one took about an hour so these three three hours awesome here's this one took about two hours it's full coverage this one took about an hour, it's great. This one took forever, it took me several nights. It's very cute. I don't, I didn't notice that this was an M. I'm just gonna pretend that it stands for, oh, I think it's, 
Maybe it's MC. We will pretend it's Merry Christmas. Uh, it's a very cute mitten. Much bigger than I thought. Um, used a lot of floss. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, I'll get a break on the next one. It won't be so bad. Uh, also, these are all on 14 count Ada left over from the Shire. This is 18 count cut from a project that was unwanted. This one is also taking forever. It's another mitten. Apparently mittens take forever. <laughs> I need to put the 18 count in a hoop. Um, it's just a little small to be doing without a hoop. So I need to put this in a hoop. But it's very cute. I think uh, they're all very cute. They're just taking longer than I want them to take because I want them to be done. Um, I set a stupid goal of having them all done by the end of the month when I was able to do like two or three a night. I was like, knock this out of the park. Not going to happen, friends. Um, so I think that, I mean, for me, that's a lot of projects. Uh, usually I'm pretty <laughs> focused. Um, and, you know, I think it's, there's a lot of projects because they're, they're small, um, I'm sure you'll be seeing them again in two weeks when I, I'll probably come back and um, check back in at the end of Christmas in July. Um, and then, because soon, I think, I have to check. I've got to look up, I'm making a note to myself, I have the Mayflower and I do want to start that on the day that the Mayflower left. So that's my next start. I really need to finish a couple things though. So. Um, I have no chill, so I, um, I have not much haul, but I did buy some used online historic Christmas um, patterns because I have no chill. So this is a leisure art. So this is Christmas Remembered. So there's some great Santas on there. Love them. Um, and I think... The original person paid $3, and I think I paid $3, so it's all good. I got these um, Sam Hawkins Designs Cross Stitch Christmas Plaid. So it's just different um, plaid designs. I just thought they were very cute. Not that, I mean, these are so 90s, they're not in style anymore, but that's okay. I have a thing for vintage Christmas. The woman had like a hundred. I just got three. And then I got Cinnamon Stick Christmas. This is by Homespun Elegance. And I could not say no to this. There we go. So those are my, uh, that's my haul. That's it. Uh, and then I have a giveaway. So I um, asked you guys to comment two videos ago and about, I think I asked what your happiest moment was and I got some very fun responses. This is Ann Whitaker, 1827. It's from the small samplings collection or small, what does she call them? Yeah, small samplings, I'm right. So. I did, I had 12 comments, and I did a random number generator by my house robot, and she picked number three, which was Petra Pichtova. I'm assuming you're Russian. I don't know if you're from Russia or if your people are Russian, but it sounds very Russian to me, Petra. I'm going to comment on your comment um, and let me know how to get this pattern to you. I'm so glad that you won and congratulations. Um, this is like the shortest video I've ever made. So if you like short videos, this one is for you. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you're all well. Uh, if you could do me a favor and keep me in your good thoughts, I would be very grateful. I have some upheaval going on, so good thoughts are always appreciated. Um, please stay safe, keep stitching, stay well, stay cool. Hopefully the humidity breaks, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.